Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Welcome to another exciting episode of our YouTube podcast, where we dive into the world of business and innovation. And thank you for joining us today, Mr. Adam Sigelski, CEO of Canadian Maverick Capital Corp. It's an honor to have you on the show here today. And to kick off the interview, could you please share with us a brief overview of your journey and how you reached the position as CEO? Well, Rich, thanks for having me on your show. Um, you know, big fan and very happy to uh, share the story. Um, I got involved in CDN Maverick about six months ago after meeting the chairman. Uh, the chairman, Sandy McDougall, had built a pretty tremendous company called Noram Lithium, which has got uh, proven 6 million tons of lithium in Nevada. Canadian Maverick owns 1.6 million shares of that company. So, you know, right away I was dealing with a winner, a guy who's built a, a, an amazing company, who's nurtured the capital and built the project, you know, uh, from start. And I'm an experienced CEO who's raised capital and had, um, you know, various successes along the way. And, yeah, it was it was an opportunity to work with a great team with a great uh, structured uh, company, and I had a vision to go and uh, and advance the projects, move them into move, move us into a jurisdiction uh, in Canada and Quebec, which is incredibly you know attractive right now for investors, and that's kind of how we got here. Well, congratulations on becoming CEO. And what differentiates your company from other lithium exploration companies in the market? And what competitive advantages or unique strengths do you possess? Um, I think the one big differentiator is structure. Uh, you see a lot of junior companies that have hundreds of millions of shares outstanding. Um, and that really eliminates the opportunity for discovery leverage. You know, when you've got hundreds of millions of shares outstanding, you make a discovery. And it's tough for that stock to go up percentage wise. Uh, we have only 13 million shares outstanding, and today we're valued at Canadian, you know, $15 million. And if we get one sniff of a discovery, we should be valued at, you know, 10, 20 times that value. So, again, that's that's the kind of leverage you want. You want to be able to see high percentage gains. And, uh, you know, we're a dollar stock that has that potential to grow. And you've seen, you know, two or three of those companies, you know, uh, in Quebec recently have that kind of you know, big success with discovery. So I think what differentiates us is one, our capital structure is fantastic. As I just mentioned, uh, we're also led with a very competent management team that has recently made a discovery in, in the United States. Um, and we'll follow that same path that we take to preserve our cash and be very careful with how we uh, invest our money. Um, and most importantly, we've got multiple investments in the company. Now we've got an investment in Argentina that we just closed. Uh, and that company is actively drilling. So if we get a, a discovery in Argentina through all those uh, projects that we have leverage to, um, suddenly we get an appreciation in our share price. Uh, Noram Lithium is an advanced lithium project. So at any moment, we could have a takeover situation where someone says, hey, you know, we're building a car plant, we're building a battery plant, and we need a source of, uh, of U.S.-based uh, resource. You know, that could be worth millions of dollars to us, and that's on our balance sheet. Uh, but most importantly, we're now in the middle of James Bay, highway access, some of the highest lithium pegmatite numbers in all of James Bay. Um, you know, from a geochemical perspective, we have this massive anomaly, and we were able to secure that through a world-renowned prospector named Sean Ryan. So as a differentiator, amazing share structure, amazing management team, exposure to Argentina, United States, and now Quebec. And we're working with a, you know, a prospector who's discovered millions of ounces uh, of gold in his time and has set his sights on this exciting lithium boom that we have now. And here we are in Quebec, you know, ready to get going. Really impressive. I love your share structure. We look for deals with tight share structures. That's very important to us here uh, for myself as an investor and to our community, understanding a company share structure, understanding the fundamentals, understanding mm -hmm. the management team. You guys are literally checking off all the boxes. So really, yeah. really impressive. Adam, how do you plan to fund your exploration activities and any subsequent development projects? And what is your financial strategy? And do you anticipate the need for additional capital in the near future? 
Uh, well, so we recently completed a financing. So we uh, capitalized the company with $1.7 million. Um, you know, we have payments coming in uh, regularly from our investments. So the joint venture that we just uh, closed and the disposition of our uh, asset in Argentina, that's paying us money, that's paying us cash, it's paying us shares. So that gives us non-dilutive capital to be able to deploy for other acquisitions. So it's a really smart transaction. We're getting paid uh, for selling that asset. We're getting paid over time. Um, so we've got the existing cash, we've got the cash coming in, we've got tradable securities that we could potentially, um, if Noram, you know, has a great summer and moves into the fall at a new level, we could generate cash by selling some shares in Noram. Um, but ultimately, we also are in Quebec, where in Canada here, it's very attractive to, to raise both flow through money and charity flow through. You've seen uh, a major initiative in North America for critical minerals exploration. Canada has these great tax write-offs where um, as long as we raise money from investors and put that money into exploration and into the ground, there's a major tax credit back for those investors. So we can fund our company through disposition of shares of one of our projects. We receive cash payments. Um, and as we, you know, I think you will see over the next, you know, weeks and months, we're going to identify other projects to acquire here and, um, and we will be able to, um, and very likely fund further along the way as we make, you know, progress on our exploration. That is key being able to fund projects. And it seems like you guys have everything in place. Now you touched base on Sean Ryan, uh, very impressive. Now, Adam, can you tell us a bit more about the expertise and experience of your management team and technical staff? And mm -hmm. how do their backgrounds contribute to the success of your exploration activities? Yeah. So again, you know, with, with our chairman, someone who really manages capital uh, and 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 share structure very well, uh, we've got you know we've got a team that's very focused on preserving um, you know preserving our capital and spending it you know in, in the most conservative way and the most frugal way possible. Uh, we've got Sean Ryan, and and again. Sean's a, a big picture thinker, you know, he's gone into the Yukon, he's made millions of ounces of discovery. He recently went into Quebec and he said, geez, am I late to this lithium party? And uh, and he scoured the Quebec databases. Uh, he really he really does his homework, you know, he sits down, he goes, downloads all the information you can. He's got one of the largest data sets in the world. And so when he looks at the world as a whole and says, you know, how do we, how do we make discoveries? Where do we make discoveries? What are the techniques we use? Um, he applied that model to what we're doing in Quebec. He identified these huge opportunities. And, um, and, and most impressive about Sean is not his ability to usually be early and to be you know, in, in that area where you can grab large land packages. We have 40,000 hectares. You know, this is a district. If we find, you know, we could find multiple deposits on here that will give us you know, plenty of runway of development, puts us into a really good position. But I think the most impressive thing um, Sean also comes with his uh, exploration team called the Ground Truth Exploration. And historically, where companies have gone and spent 15, 20 million dollars on sampling to go, you know, make big discoveries, Sean and his team can usually get on the ground quicker, more cost effectively, and probably save you 60, 70 percent of that cost by just deploying an efficient team, going out and getting the work done. Um, he's done tremendous work in his career at consistently bringing large data sets, data sets at low cost. And that's really what we want here is we want them to cover the ground as quickly as possible. Remember, we're right in the area where you've got some new mines going into production. You've got new discoveries in the area. So all we need to do is really have that team go find just a little bit of spodumene, uh, you know, early indications and, and our market cap and our uh, company valuation should be impacted significantly by that. That's very impressive. And what are the key milestones or catalysts that investors should be looking out for in the coming months or years? And are there any specific events or developments that could significantly impact the company's value or prospects? Yeah, I mean, this is this is the time to be in the stock right now is we are deploying a team later this month to get on the ground. Um, a lot of, you know, anything that was an issue with fire, with fires going on in Quebec seems to have subsided. All the exploration teams are back to work. Uh, we haven't been impacted by this and we expect to be on the ground at the end of the month. So I think you're going to see news over the coming weeks of us deploying our team, putting the men on the ground. And again, we're going from early exploration to potentially early discovery. You can go take chip samples. You can do, uh, um, you know, get a bunch of data from the geological surveys of Quebec um, we can do our analysis, we could do drone uh, access. And once we find those outcrops, all we need is a confirmation that they're lithium bearing and we could have drill targets this fall. So from a catalyst standpoint, we 
very likely are going to make some early identifications over the next 30 to 45 days uh, while on the ground. We expect to have that information back, I would say, late July at the latest. Um, and again, um, when you're talking about 40,000 hectares, having a complete district uh, in James Bay, the, probably the hottest real estate in the world for lithium exploration, uh, puts us into a really exciting spot where you know, compared to the multi-billion dollar companies or the or the multi-hundred million dollar companies that have made discoveries and are getting that value. We as a little $15 million company have a very exciting summer coming up. Yeah, we're excited to see everything. And we're going to be watching you very, very closely here at Rich TV Live. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. In saying that, the stock and the chart looks great. Uh, the company looks great. The share structure, the management team, literally you guys are checking off all the boxes. So we believe this is a company that is still very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, like you said, with a relatively small market cap. We believe there's a lot of runway and room to grow. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Adam Segelski joining us. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We're bringing the winners, we're bringing CEO interviews, we're bringing the news, company overviews, and we bring it to you first. Hopefully you like this video. Thank you for watching everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Adam Sigelski saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.